on today's menu, a super delicious recipe you can make today. A simple yet extraordinary lentil soup. Lei Hong Ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungManCooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. I know I say every recipe is extremely delicious and extremely easy, but trust me, this one you'll definitely probably can make today. Let's begin. Really not much to it. These are amazing red lentils. No need to soak these overnight. We're just gonna wash, rinse and drain them, and that is it. Rinse and drain two cups of red lentils and set aside. Two russet potatoes, peeled. Chop the potatoes into small cubes. One carrot, finely chopped. One onion, finely chopped. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. One tomato, diced. That's pretty much it for the prep. Now you can definitely use veggie stock, but we're just going to use good old water today and season it a little bit more. A good idea is actually have the water boiling hot while adding into the soup rather than adding cold water and shocking the soup and then bringing it back up to a temperature. It's one of those tips that we don't really think about, but the difference it makes is shocking. Bring seven cups of water to boil. Stock pot, medium heat, three tablespoons olive oil, onions, saute for three to four minutes. Carrots. Saute for two minutes. Garlic. Saute for a minute. Two teaspoons cumin. Two teaspoons salt. Fresh cracked pepper to taste. Saute for one minute. Red lentils. Tomato. Saute for another minute. Potatoes.
Pour in the 7 cups of hot water. Give the pot a good stir. Bring the soup to a boil and cover and cook on medium for 20 minutes. While we wait for that soup to cook, if you love easy and delicious recipes like me, then definitely check out our ramen cookbook, our Cook with Confidence cookbook, our Young Men Cooking merch, and of course the plant-based sushi masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check all those things out. Let's see if that soup is ready. Man, that's looking and smelling absolutely amazing. Now, depending on how creamy you'd like the soup, you can actually serve this as is, or put a few ladles into a blender, blend it up and mix it back in. That's what I'm gonna do. Transfer three to four cups of soup into the blender. Blend on medium low for a few seconds. Pour the soup back into the pot. Give the pot a good stir and it's ready to serve. plate generously. Fresh lemon juice. Freshly chopped parsley. Optional drizzle of olive oil. Fresh cracked pepper to taste. You can now enjoy this delicious lentil soup with absolute confidence. Man, that looks and smells just delightful. That is so delicious and so comforting. It's so casual and simplistic and yet the flavors are so complex. You get that kind of garlic flavor, you get a little bit of saltiness, the spice from the fresh cracked pepper, and that delicious, beautiful cumin that wraps this entire soup with this amazing kind of aromatic lift. And that lemon juice adds that really incredibly delicious, bright freshness, along with the beautiful green color and freshness of that freshly chopped parsley. The potatoes really add this kind of substantial texture. It's really nice and tender along with the carrots that are just really cooked down, adds a little bit of that sweetness, but also really tender in texture. The soup is so incredibly full-bodied and silky and creamy and luscious and has that really crazy velvety texture. That extra little drizzle of olive oil adds that kind of fruitiness. And when you mix the soup all together, you combine all of those incredibly delicious flavors. It's really extraordinary to see how we added so much red lentils in there just straight up and it really just melts all together. Blending a few ladles of that soup really also helps with that delicious, creamy, velvety texture. And of course, you can't forget about the tomato that we added in there as well but you really just don't even notice because it literally melts into that soup, adds that sweetness, a little bit of acidity. This is definitely one of those recipes that is so easy to put together, so incredibly tasty, and makes it really exciting to cook dishes right in your own kitchen. I just love how beautiful and golden that is. It really is just amazing. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like me, of course, check out the ramen cookbook, the Cook with Confidence cookbook, the Young Men Cooking merch, as well as our plant-based sushi masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check all those things out. And of course, as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.